Hey there, my little G's. Uh, just wanted to uh, go into the second video in the series now about creating an online online portfolio using uh, Adobe Spark. So uh, you really want to be able to showcase your work on this uh, online portfolio. And the best way to do that is to make sure that you can see all of the work all at once. Now, when it comes to doing an online Spark page, let's see the... Uh, and here's one that I started. You can see that when I put work in here, like for instance, this one right here, it takes that you don't see the whole thing at once. It just kind of, it, this is a glide slide, by the way, <clears throat> it uses it, uses it kind of as a background. And of course you don't see the whole thing, but it will allow you to focus on one area, but you also want to be able to show your whole a work of art all at once. Now, in order to do that, we have to do a little bit of getting your 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 files ready. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using photop.com. It's a it's a lot like Photoshop. As a matter of fact, it's um, super easy to use because of it. I'm going to go full screen so that we can see the whole thing. Now, <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to use a format and a size that works as well with um, uh, computers as uh, and phones. But the thing is that when you send this to someone, they're probably going to see it on their computer. The chances are more than likely that they're going to open it either on a laptop or, or a desktop PC. So I'm going to choose new project and we're going to go into screen right here. Now, if you were using Photoshop, you would use mobile in this case. And, uh, that would be all the formats that go with, uh, Oh, no, I'm sorry, not mobile, web. <laughs> so that would be all the formats to go with internet. So I'm going to switch to screen here, and we've got all these pre-made sizes. And, of course, you've got templates here, but we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to start from scratch. Now, <clears throat> this 1280 by 720 is very good, You've uh, and, and the 1920 by 1080 is a little bit better as far as the, the ratio from... Uh, uh, length and width or width and height. Sorry. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and choose the full HD, which is 1920 by 1080, which is kind of large, but, but, uh, that's okay. And I'm just going to name this template or spark template. And the reason I'm calling it start spark template is because what we're going to do is we're going to use this to create all of our other slides. Now, um, this is pretty much the same format as far as uh, ratios as most computer screens. And that's what we're looking for. Because when you send someone the Spark page, that's what it's going to look like. Now, I'm just going to start with a regular background. I'm going to put an empty layer here. I'm going to get my gradients and uh, I'm just going to go black to white going across. Uh. Hold shift so it's nice and straight. And it's pretty good right there. You know what? No, I I don't know. I always second guess myself. I'm going to only go halfway so that the white part is closer to the uh, left side than the right. Because the way I have my uh, slide or glide pages, um, the little part where you actually type information is, is, a little bit, is a little bit smaller than half. So I'm going to go with this. Okay, now... The next thing to do would be to uh, put in some work. Now, I happen to have the backgrounds uh, folder that we have from school, and I'm just going to stick something in there. That way, it's not uh, it's something that you're used to. Now, let's say I go ahead and bring in this picture right here, and there it is. All I had to do was drag and drop, just like Photoshop. And I used Alt Tab to go between all of my screens since I do have it as full screen. Now, after I get it there, I'm going to go ahead and push Shift to keep the perspective. Now, I want you to see right here in this area right here, when I change it, you'll notice that the actual width and height shows. This right here, I don't want uh, either one of these to be bigger than 600. So I'm going to go right there where it's 600 by 400, and I'm going to put it right here. And you might tell yourself, 
well, that looks really small, but that's for a reason. Now from here, you can do all sorts of things like give it a stroke, uh, give it maybe a slight shadow, uh, drop shadow or something like that. That's fine. Uh, you, you know, you do whatever you want and just leave this side blank. Now, uh, if you want to get whimsical, you can also, <clears throat> you can also, uh, let me turn on the transform controls here. You can turn it to a slight angle. You can move it either further or, or closer to the edge. I'm just going to leave mine right here at a slight angle. Why not? Okay. So there it is. Turn off the transform controls because in, uh, in Microsoft, in, a uh, Google Chrome, if you do control T, it opens a new tab. So let's not use that for transforming. We'll just use this right here. Now, uh, now that I've got this the way I like it, this is one of my, uh, let's say favorite pieces of art and I want to show it off. I go ahead and just drag it where I want it. And then from there I go to file export as a JPEG. Now when I export it as a JPEG, I, I basically just uh, make sure that my quality is fine, 70%. Uh, if you want to attach met metadata, that's up to you. That, that kind of helps uh, make it yours, so to speak. But I'm just going to leave it at 70%. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but this is at 72 uh, DPI. So, And why is it 72 DPI? Because we're it's going to be viewed on the web. We only use a higher uh, resolution when we are going to actually print it. All right, so I'm going to push save. And right away, it gets downloaded into my downloads folder. And if I push show in folder, there it is. So now I'm going to switch back to Spark. And, sorry about this. And now that I'm in Spark, let me go and start a new page. So I'm going to start a, a, a new uh, web page. <clears throat> and right here is where I'm going to put a um, my title page or splash page that we made before. You know what? I might as well just enter it. So I'm going to upload photo. And I'm going to just choose my splash page right here. And there it is. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose glide show. Now on this glide show, I want to do the background photo that I just created. So I'm going to upload the flow, the photo, uh, and it's in my downloads cause I just downloaded it and I'm going to select that. And there it is. And when I push save now, you'll see why I didn't want to go any bigger than 600 pixels. If I would have gone any bigger, I wouldn't be able to see it. So if I go to preview, you'll see that up here is my actual splash page that we created. And right here, I can, when I'm in the middle of the, of the, of the glide show, I can see the whole work of art, all, all of it top to bottom, side to side. Now let me get out of the preview. And here is where you just push a plus sign and you have choices. You can either add a second photo, uh, text, or a button that goes somewhere else, but we're not going to worry about buttons. Or you could even embed a video of you doing the work or something like that. We're not there right now, but this is where I would type text, where it says, I can say something like, um, digital manipulation of... Type. Photos is one of the different types of design technique. And then after that, and of course, once you get in there, you can also um, change the size of it, make it bold. You know, there, there's just little things that you can do. And I think you only have two different... Um, two different types of uh, sizes, H1 and H2, but that's okay. And if I wanted it to be centered, I could just do something like this. Now, this, of course, goes with your theme. Uh, 
whatever your theme was, if you can change themes and just like we did with a spark page or title page, uh, you can change themes. And of course, let me click on that and then, it, and it will follow the, the, the theme that you want either with a color or with a font. So, uh, the one I have is just the, the good old fashioned light up here up top. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is changing the, oh, sorry, that's my dogs, is changing the focal point here. So if I click here, I can change the focal point to where it's, when it's in the, in center frame and we have, um, here we go. So if you, if someone's going to see this on a phone, you want this to be your focal point. So the whole screen, of course, is when you're watching it on or looking at it on a computer. But the focal point here will be for mobile views. So I'm going to push save. And of course, it doesn't really change anything here. But as you glide, it'll show your work. And of course, here is where we put in our next glide. All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about uh, is uh, going from a glide to a photo grid uh, and maybe even some split layouts. So that way we can put more than one layout in your web page. All right. So your assignment for today is to go ahead and start a new Spark page. I want you to add your splash page that we created in the last assignment in video. And then I want you to go to photo P and I want you to create using the uh, template that is, uh, for web and I would use the 1080 size because it's just the best size to use at this point. Uh, and then whenever you insert your artwork in the, <clears throat> excuse me, when you insert your artwork, you can see that, uh, if you use no larger than 600 pixels, either in either dimension, uh, it shows up really nicely on the screen. Uh, it looks really small when you're creating your, your your splash page or your template, but you'll see once you get it into Spark, it looks really, really nice. Now, don't forget, oh, and by the way, all you have to do here is just turn this off, go back to your uh, backgrounds and put in a different, or not backgrounds, go into your work or your photos, and I want you to drag and drop. That didn't work right. You go back to full screen here. For some reason, it just works in full screen. Of course, you can just place it. All right, so drag and drop whatever picture you uh, you see fit. And change the size to be no bigger than 600 pixels going either way. Uh, this one's right at 600 right there. And then... Export as a JPEG. And this one, of course, they're all going to have the same name, but it's going to be template one, or Spark template, Spark template one, two, three, four. And of course, then you just go and drag them and drop them into your, uh, or not drag and drop, I'm sorry. Then you go ahead and import them into your new design as one does. Let me go ahead and put right here. This time, go glide, show another photo. And now we have two in a row. And of course, you can put something else in here uh, as like a text, as a transition between the two. And there you go. Now, I have two different glide shows here. I'm going to go into uh, edit photos, and you can add a bunch of them. Like, let's say I went ahead and uploaded a photo here. And this is all part of one section. So you make this glide show all about your digital work. Let me push save. So, and they transitions really nicely uh, from one here. And you put your, your text. And then here's the next one. You put your text. And then you have a transition where you can put either words or another photo or something else and then you start your next section with hopefully a different one this one may be your your drawings or something like that okay all right so um that's it for this your assignment is to go into your spark page and start one glide show i'm sorry you have to add your 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 splash page 
and then start a glide show using photos that you edited in PhotoP. Remember to create a template. It doesn't have to be like mine. This is just something I threw together real quick. But what I do want is to for you to be able to uh, showcase your artwork. Uh, and in order to do that, the artwork cannot be any larger than 600 pixels or it will go outside the uh, constraints of the frame. All right, and remember that once you get in there to change your focal point for mobile users, which would be about right here. So if someone op opens it on the phone, they don't just see blank space or just the edge of it, of your, uh, of your artwork. All right, there we go. All right, you guys have a wonderful day and uh, I look forward to seeing your, your assignments.